All right, buenos días, uh, buenas tardes, uh, clase 1010, section 2, uh, 930. Okay, hoy vamos a ver tres palabras especiales. Today we're going to look at three very special words that are called relative pronouns. We use these words, que, quien, and lo que, to combine sentences. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos. Hay una escalera. There's a staircase. La escalera sube al primer piso. There's a staircase. It goes up to the first floor. Now, instead of saying those two sentences, there's a staircase, period, it goes up to the first floor, period, I can combine both of those sentences to make one sentence. There's the staircase that goes up to the first floor. I'm going to explain this in English because it's a little bit easier to do than in Spanish. But let's go to Spanish right now. Hay una escalera. La escalera sube al primer piso. Hay una escalera que sube al primer piso. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Let's use an example with quién. Elena es mi vecina. Le presté la aspiradora. Elena is my neighbor. I let her borrow the vacuum cleaner. Let's make both of those sentences one sentence. Elena is my neighbor who or for whom I lent the vacuum cleaner or to whom I lent or to whom I let borrow my vacuum cleaner. It's a clunky translation, but you get the idea. Elena es mi vecina a quien le presté la aspiradora. Elena es mi vecina a quien le presté la aspiradora. All right, let's go back to my first example. My first example, I was talking about a staircase, and I used K. We use K when the antecedent, when the word that comes before the K is a thing. In my second example, I'm talking about my neighbor, Elena, who is not a thing, but a person, and so I use the word quien. Elena es mi vecina a quien le presté la aspiradora. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos más. ¿Dónde pusiste la ropa que te compré ayer? ¿Dónde pusiste la ropa que te compré ayer? Where did you put the clothing that I bought for you yesterday? I'm using que because ropa is a thing. Otro ejemplo. ¿Cuáles son los estudiantes a quienes les enseñas? ¿Cuáles son los estudiantes a quienes les enseñas? Who are the students whom you teach? Here I'm using not quien, but quien, quien es, because I'm referring to students. The quien es refers to more than one person, so I'm going to say quien es. In my previous example with Elena, Elena is just one person, so she is a quien. Students are two people, so they are quien es, quien es. ¿Cuáles son los estudiantes a quién es les enseñas? Ok. Tenemos una cafetera nueva. Mi prima nos la regaló. Here I have two sentences. We have a new coffee maker. My cousin gave it to us. Can you try now to combine those two sentences in Spanish using quién or qué? Es cafetera a thing, or is it a person? It's obviously a thing, so I'm going to use K to combine those two sentences, and my sentence, my one sentence, will read, Tenemos una cafetera nueva que mi prima nos regalo. Nos regalo. All right. The last relative pronoun we have to cover is lo que. Lo que refers to an idea, a concept that comes before uh, it refers back to a uh, concept or idea in the beginning of the sentence. K 
refers to the, the antecedent or what comes before the K refers to a thing. The kin kin s refers to the person that comes before the kin. And loke refers, goes back to, makes reference back to what I was talking about in the beginning of the sentence. In this case, an idea, a general situation, a general circumstance. So, for example, I could say something like, lo que más me gusta de esta clase son las luces. That which I like most about this classroom are the lights. Or I could say, lo que más me gusta de esta clase es el, el, el pizarro. El pizarro. ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta de tu casa? ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta de tu casa? ¿Qué es lo que menos te gusta de tu casa? ¿Qué es menos? ¿Qué es lo que menos te gusta de tu casa? Okay. Un ejemplo más. Let's use an, one more example with quién es. ¿Quién es? Los profesores, comma, quienes trabajan en casa, tienen mucho trabajo. Los profesores, quienes trabajan en casa, tienen mucho trabajo. The idea that I'm trying to convey in this sentence is that the professors, the instructors, have a lot of work. By the way, they are working at home. And that, by the way, that parenthetical information is set off by commas. And I'm going to use PNS because professors are people. All right, let me put that on the board really quick, then I'll conclude. Los profesores, comma, quienes. Quienes refers to professors. Los profesores, quienes trabajan en casa, comma, tienen mucho trabajo. Bueno, nos vemos el viernes en clase. Hasta